of the Big Ben. Amen. A church that we call home where we honor God, we love Him, so we serve others, and we pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So praise God again. Welcome all our NBC family, all our visitors, and all of you that are joining us by audio and video. All we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive God has something for me. Amen. Amen. So just, Lord, you have something for me. I'm not letting go, you know, so give it to me. Amen. We got to be ready. And we're, today we're going to be talking about Jesus above all. Mm. You know, <laughs> we just ended a uh, uh, Olympics 2024. <laughs> and, you know, everybody wanted to be about everybody. Everybody wants the gold, you know. If they didn't get the gold, they got silver or, or the bronze. But still, they gave it their, their all. Amen. Well, we're going to talk about Jesus above all. You know, yeah. you can say all, but when you say Jesus above all, he's yes. above everything. Amen. Everything. So let's let's remember this. We go to him, and I was telling, uh, sharing with the family here a few minutes ago, <laughs> we fight a spiritual battle each and every day. Every day. Amen. So... We want Jesus above all these things. But you know what? He wants us to be where he's at. He says, what I've done, you can do. So we we are to be above this. How can we be above this? It's by getting the word of God in us and speaking the word of God. Last week we talked about speaking faith-filled words. Amen. Woo, man, this is good. Jesus above all. Keep going, Carl. This is good. Not only that, we're going to read here to you in a minute. It says, Jesus, name above all all names yeah. I mean there's names for whatever but you know what his name is above all names amen yeah. Ooh, praise God thank you yes. Lord yes. hallelujah well, I'm excited before we get running too much let's uh, grab our sword soldier of God warrior of God and uh, let's make this uh, declaration together amen yes. hallelujah this is my Bible I, I am what it says I am I have what it says I have I can do it since I can do it today. I'll be talking the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Let's remember that our mind is the battlefield. And we need to renew our minds. How do we renew, renew our minds? We renew our minds with the word of God. Yes. Amen. Because you know what? You're in the world. And the world's going to bombard you with all kinds of negative things. Amen. Yep. And we we have to just clean it out and renew our minds with what the Word of God says. Otherwise, yeah. you start thinking, talking, and doing just like them. So we got to watch our words and we got to watch our actions. But we need to renew our minds because that's where the enemy comes and tries to put thoughts there and try to make you to meditate on those things so that you can drop your guard. Amen. And start doing like the world. Start doing what he's telling you to do. That you're not qualified, that you're not good enough. But that's not what the Word of God says. So wait a minute. I renew my mind so I can start thinking and be focused on what He wants me to do. Not what the world wants me to do, but what, what He wants me to do. Amen. His first. <clears throat> Seek Him first. Amen. Whew. Hallelujah. So I'm excited. We fight a spiritual battle. That's why it's so important we keep our minds focused on what He wants us to do. Amen. Whew. And keep our mind clean. And know yeah. that you can do all things through him. Amen. Yeah. Jesus above all. Jesus is above all and the bigger, bigger than any care. And we're going to be talking a lot about this. Cares, problems, troubles you have. And you can have them if you want them. But you don't have to. You can let go. He says cast. <laughs> cast. So we need to let it go and let God cast it on him. Give it to him. He says give it to me. Why are you still carrying? I didn't put those things on you. I don't want you to have those things, but you're holding on to them. Well, I'll give you half of them. I can handle half. He didn't say if you can handle it. Uh -huh. He says, cast them on me. Them Why? On. Because I have bigger and better things and more important things for you to do yeah. than to carry these things. I was, God says, I sacrificed my son so that you wouldn't have these things. Jesus says, I was sacrificed. So that you could cast these things on me. Mm -hmm. They were at the cross. They went. They were there. Amen. Philippians 2, 9 and 11. You know? Philippians 2, 9 and 11. New King James says, Therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. And those in heaven and those on earth. And of these under the earth. And those under the earth. 
and that every tongue should confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Praise God. You know, I got so excited. I've got a scripture uh, break I want to read at you. And it goes like this. It says, cast all cares on him. You have neglected to cast all your cares on him. This is, he wants us to be focused on what he wants us to do. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. But still, he doesn't want you carrying these things. He says, you have neglected to cast your cares on him. Mm. Cast them all on the one who cares for you. Amen. Who cares for you? Jesus. Yes. Cast them all on the one who gives you rest. Who gives you rest? Jesus. He's above all. Allow him to comfort you the way he longs to. Yeah. Take a step of faith now yeah. and begin to unload all your burdens on him. Yeah. Why haven't you given them? He's uh, begging you. He's knocking and saying, give me those things, you know. Why are you still holding on to those things? Mm -hmm. They're not, <laughs> they not going to help you. They're going to hurt you. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're going to hurt you. They're going to make you sick. They're going to make you lazy. They're going to make you all kinds of negative things. So give it to him. Exchange them for his yoke, Amen. his love, and his anointing. Yes. Do it and accept what he's offered you. Give up all those things he never gave you or intended you to have. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so get, it says, give up all those things he never gave you or intended you to carry. <laughs> Only then can you pick up the things he has wanted yes. for you. Amen. He wants these things for you. And he wants, you know, I told a uh, church family here, he put you here to win. He didn't put you here to lose. That's it. And you need to know that you can do yes. all things through him. Mm -hmm. And he wants you involved. He wants you to be part of his body. We are the body of Christ. We are the church. Amen. So we need to be about the Father's business and doing what he's called us to do. How do I know what he calls me to do? Well, I need to spend time with him. Amen. And he's, he says we are all ministers of reconciliation. You know, 2 Corinthians 5, 17 says the past is gone. The new is in. I'm a new child of God. I'm a new creature in Christ. So I'm going to be busy about the Father's business. But I'm going to need the word of God. Amen. I need it in me so that I can go and do what he wants us to do. Amen. Ooh, man. This is good. Keep going. All right. I wrote them both ways to you. I wrote in New King James and the Amplified. And John 16, 33 says, These things I have spoken to you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you'll have tribulation. Mm -hmm. It says, But be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. In the Amplified, he, he goes, as John 16, 33 says, I have told you these things so that you, that so that in me you may have perfect peace and confidence yes. in the world you'll have tribulations and trials and distress and frustrations uh -huh. we go through these things yes. but we know what to do amen frustrations but be of good cheer yes. take courage be confident be certain be fearless yes amen yes. be fearless mm -hmm. says for i have overcome the world uh -huh. I have deprived it of its power to harm you and have conquered it for you. Amen. Amen. So don't let the world, people, come and tell you things and you take it in and allow it to pull you down no. and take you down. No. Mm -hmm. Know what the Word says and say, wait a minute, you're talking to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Word of God says. You know, if I'm going to come against him, I'm going to let him know. I'm a child of God. And that's not what the word of God says. You're confessing the wrong thing. And you're confessing it to the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Because I know what the word of God says. And therefore, you bring it somewhere else. Or you take it somewhere else. Because it's not for me. Mm -hmm. I know what the word, what, what the Lord wants me to do. And I'm going to stand on what the word of God says. Remember last week? I stood on the word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We need to be macho. We need to be strong in Him. Yeah. And we need to stand on the Word. Even if we have to stand on it. And say, yeah. I'm standing on the Word of God. Mm -hmm. Ain't no crazier things in the world. Yeah. So I stood on my Bible. So what? It's my Bible. But I'm standing on the Word. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Ooh, I used to get it full of that ignorant oil and do all kinds of crazy stuff. So why can't I get crazy for Jesus? Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> We're not perfect. <laughs> but I'm a new creature in Christ. Amen. So can't use that old stuff against me. <laughs> Praise God. Keep going. This is good. Yeah. Philippians says, when you feel yourself sinking in the sea of circumstances that causes cares, concerns, anxieties, worries, fears, uh, panic, problems, mm -hmm. troubles, rings the bell anywhere, <laughs> mm. these things are going to come against you. And he's going to use the world. He's going to use people. He's going to use anything to try to get these things on you and put these things on you if you allow yourself. You, allow you know, hey, when I wake up in the morning, says the Lord, thank you for waking me up. Mm -hmm. And my priority is seek him first. Yes. And I'm going to get dressed not on, not with my clothes on first, but I put get dressed on with the word. I put on the word of God. Amen. Yes. And then I put my clothes on and now I know I'm a new creature in Christ. And I'm letting these things press on me, you know, come on me. Amen. And I'm going to confess. Thank you, Lord, for waking me up. Now, seek it first. And all these other things shall be added unto you. Amen. And you know what? <laughs> Whatever's waiting outside, those enemies, those mm -hmm. giants, it doesn't matter. Greater is he that's in me than he that is in the world. Amen. And I've got the greater one in me. Amen. And you need to be bold enough to say the same thing. Yeah. You know what? The greater is he that's in me than he. I don't care who's waiting for me. That's what attitude uh, David had. Yeah. So there's a giant out there, so what? <laughs> you know who's backing you. Mm -hmm. I know whose I am. I can do all things through Christ. Amen. So you know what? They're going to have to go through him <laughs> to <Yes>. get to me. <laughs> praise good. God. So praise God. Philippians 4, uh, 4 6 through 8. <clears throat> this translation says, Do not be anxious about anything. So what are you anxious about? If you're anxious about it, you haven't given it to him because he said give it to me so you shouldn't be worried about it mm -hmm. he says but in everything every, every situation by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god you got to yes. present it to him you got to go to him yes you can't go anywhere else you know don't go to a bar <laughs> huh. you know i got problems oh i know what you need you need a drink <laughs> <laughs> or whatever frame you go to <laughs> You need another toy. You need another pill. You need this. You need that. You know, but you go to him. Amen. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind in Christ Jesus. Finally, my brethren or brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent and pray for you, Think about these things. Amen. Yes. So get the word in you. And yeah. Start thinking those things. Yeah. Start thinking what he says about you. That's it. And about the situation. Yes. Well, you know that situation is not mine. It's his. Yeah. People try to give you, you know, uh, uh, somewhere in here I'm going to say it, but I'll, I'll say it again. <laughs> People come, confront you, and they try to take you out of your peace. They bring their problem. And they try to take you out of your peace. Man, I'm walking in my peace. I have peace with him. But you're going to see the world's going to bring all kinds of problems. Oh, yeah. And they're going to want to take you out of your peace. That's it. Amen. They want to present their problems to you and say, Wait oh, yeah. I'm not receiving it. Mm -mm. That's not for me. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm standing on the word. Mm -hmm. And I've given it to him. So I'm not taking it. Amen. Amen. It's not, that's not for me. <laughs> Praise God. So praise God. Praise God. Jesus says, call on me and I'll be there. That's before the Jackson 5. <laughs> That's before the Jackson 5 hit. I'll be there. Jesus says, <laughs> he says, I'm coming back and I'll be there. Amen. Above all things. Jesus above all things. That's our message. Even if you have to say it over and over. Oh, yeah supposed to tell you this <laughs> no fear and no power mm -hmm. we need his power and we yes. need to stay connected to the power source stay amen but if you're going to pray know that you're going to have some power 
And where's the power? The power is in his words. He yes. says, I speak words, and they go out and accomplish what I send them to do. Mm -hmm. And we can, he says, you can do the same thing. But we got to speak the word. When you speak the word, it's sowing a seed. Amen? And we're sowing good seed. And it's going to go out and accomplish what it is we are supposed to do. Amen? Woo. Yeah. Hallelujah. So we need to confess. Keep going. There we go. And we see this all the time. But we need to get it right. Proverbs 18.21 says what? New King James says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Death and life are in the power of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. So words are powerful. Amen? They're powerful. you got to confess it over and over. That's okay. You know, I used to cuss all the time. And confess it all the time. You just cuss and cuss and cuss and cuss. So now why can't I just confess the word over and over and over and over? Mm -hmm. It ain't going to do it. It's going to bless me. Yes. Amen. It's going to bless me. And I'm going to still be living for him. And confessing. And I'm going to watch my word and watch my actions. So don't be discouraged. Be encouraged. Keep going. I want to read it to you from this translation. Check this out. It says, what you say can preserve life or destroy it. Mm -hmm. So you must accept the consequences of your words. Mm -hmm. You need to accept this. So you're sowing that seed. Mm -hmm. And you're sowing it in your life. So you got to be careful. You got to accept the consequences. I say, well, I just have to blast it out. Well, you said the wrong thing because it's coming back at you. So I'm not going to say it. You know, Jesus had opportunities to speak and say things he, he should have and he didn't he held his tongue we need to do the same thing just hold it you know jesus take care of this <laughs> jesus give me the strength <laughs> amen jesus what what do i say tell me what to say amen say the right things mm -hmm. not the negative things amen, amen. Yeah. hallelujah and the next one says that i can do some things all things <laughs> I can do all things through Christ things. who strengthens me. Whose strength do you need? You need His strength. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, strengthen yourself with His Word. You need the armor of God. You need His Word. You need to get it in you Amen. so it can come out of you. And you yes. know, when the enemy tries to come in and put thoughts there and say, ah, I'm going to renew my mind with the Word of God and saying what the Word of God says. Amen. And what I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Whatever the world brings, whatever the enemy brings, whoever he uses, it doesn't matter. That's I'm right. going to stand on what he wants me to do. Amen. I'm standing on him. You'll say, I'll be there. I know your weakness. I'll meet you there. I know you best. Yes. So why not go to the one that knows you the best? That's it. Lord, I need your help. He says, I know. I've been waiting for you. Mm. Amen. So help me, Lord. And He's there to help you. It says emotions can run very high. You can lose control. Yeah. You can lose strength. Mm -hmm. Can happen due to carrying all these all these things. All lose uh, the loss of control, loss of strength can happen because you're carrying these extra cares, these extra weights, these extra situations around with you. First Peter five and seven says, in the New King James says, casting all your cares about oh, him yes. for he cares for you yes give it to the one who cares for you Amen. give it to the one that went to the cross for you yes and took all the stripes then took all the shame all the blame everything mm -hmm. on him amen? amen first Peter 5 7 the amplified says casting all your cares all your anxieties all your worries yes and all your concerns once and for all on him, on him. anything whatever it may be it's not a god and it was put on Jesus so that you won't have to carry it anymore. Once and for all. He says, for he cares about you with deepest affection and watches over you very carefully. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. And I, I wrote this. It says, he knows all your weaknesses. He knows all your shortcomings. And he knows all your setbacks, all your failures, mm -hmm. but he loves you the most. He loves you the most. Amen. Amen. He was sacrificed and gave himself to be sacrificed. 
He knows all about you. So we know what? If you're going to confess, don't confess to the world. Mm -hmm. Don't confess to anybody else. Mm -hmm. Confess to the one that, that has already yes. forgiven and forgotten about those things. Yes. But I'm going to get them out of me because I don't need them in me. I need to give it to him. Amen. Confess it. Give it all. Mm -hmm. Don't hold it in. The more you hold it in, the more the enemy is going to try to break in. Yeah. And the more you think about it, you're going to open doors for the enemy to come mm -hmm. or use somebody or use the world yes. to come against you That's it. and for you to step in the wrong place and do the wrong thing. So basically, it's just confess it. I got important things for you to do. And you can't do them being all stressed out. That's you can't it. do it being oh, all right. weighted down. That's it. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want you to have a free mind mm -hmm. so we can communicate. Amen. 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 And when he's communicating with you, he's going to tell you where to go. Mm -hmm. Amen. He says the steps of righteous man are ordered of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Lord. <laughs> you're on God's winning team. Amen. Can't go, can't lose unless you want to lose. Keep going. Hallelujah, Matthew 11, 28, 20, uh, 30. Make sure you're writing these down, amen. New King James says this. Uh, it says, uh, come to me. Come to me. <laughs> Us, with his children. Mm -hmm. If nobody ever told you that, you should know by now. Yeah, yeah. He's our heavenly father. <laughs> if he's our heavenly father, yes. we're his children. <laughs> yeah. Amen. So he don't look at you and say, call you a sinner or he calls you down on you. We're his heavenly children. We're his, yes. his children. He says, come to me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. rest. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting on a stool at the bar is not the rest you need. No. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get mine clear here. He <laughs> says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me. Yes. From my for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Remember, we fight a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. And then we got in our souls, our mind, our will, and our emotions. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's what he's talking about. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Right. Woo, yeah. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God. Let's go to Jesus. It says, let's go and let God. Everyone knows it, but they won't do it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Well, you know what? Because they let the enemy in. And the enemy is going to say, you know what? He does it for everybody else except you. You've done wrong. And he's not listening to you anymore. It says, if God has told you to put it down, put it down. Mm -hmm. Don't pick it up again. Yes. Don't take it. Don't take them back. Don't go to the same old thing that tripped you or caused you to fall. The sin, the care, the problem, the bad habit, mm -hmm. the bad company. <clears throat> Come on now. I told you when I came to Christ, I had asked the Lord to take these enemies from me. You know, I started losing friends. I didn't know those friends were enemies. But you know what? Whatever He takes from you, He'll replace it with the right ones. That's it. Amen. Yeah. So let's 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 remember that. Says, let go and let God mm -hmm. above all, Jesus above all, and let the joy of the Lord be your strength. strength. Nehemiah eight and ten tells us that the joy of the Lord is your strength. You need strength, we'll get joyful. <laughs> Christians should be the most joyful people in the world. Why? Because we know the truth. Yes. It says the truth is going to set you free. Yes. So let go of the frown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Before your face falls off, you know. <laughs> you crack a smile and your face is going to fall off. <laughs> let your smile change the world. Yes. Don't let the world change your smile. That's it, that's it. You know, if all you're feeding on is CNN, or the negative news, or the bad news, mm -hmm. you know, <clears throat> don't let the world change your smile. Yes, yes. Amen. Feed on what the Word of God says. Yes. Because all they want to do is preach the negative things to you and the losing things. That's all about losing. We're to preach the gospel, the good news. The world's not going to hear any good news until we bring it to them. Amen. And we're not going to back down. We're going to step up. Amen. Amen. And we're going to bring the good news into a lost world. Amen. Amen. Because all they're being fed is the negative things mm -hmm. and what they want you to know. And all they want you to know is negative stuff, bad stuff. You know, 
we can't, we can't, we can't, you know. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ. Amen. So let your smile change go, uh, let your smile change the world. Don't let the world change your smile. Bring them into your peace. Don't let them drag you into their problems. Amen. And this is on a daily basis. Have the peace in you, you know, and get the word in you and have the peace of God in you. And you know, when you feed that flame, don't let that little flame go out. Don't let that little, uh, this little light of mine, don't let it go out, you know. You just keep it going, keep it going, you know, because you know what? This little light is going to be bright in a dark world. Yes, it is. Amen. Let that little light of yours shine for Jesus each and every day. Amen. Woo. Don't let it, don't let, and don't let nobody put it out. You got to feed it, you know, you feed the word in it, and then keep that light bright yeah. all the time, you know, just like a, a, a lighthouse for Jesus, amen. Yes. People are going to see in a dark world, man, they mm -hmm. see it. Even in the daytime, they said, man, something different about you. What is it about you? Mm -hmm. Jesus, my Savior. Yeah, I could, I could tell. Your words, your actions are going to speak louder. Mm -hmm. amen. amen. People know. Yes, See, something is. different about you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not about me. It's about him. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Praise God. Keep going. These are good. Hebrews 12, 1 and 2. Mm -hmm. the, uh, this, uh, well, let me read it to you from, uh, from the Amplified. It says, therefore, since we are surrounded by such great a cloud of witnesses who by faith have testified to uh -huh. the truth of God's absolute faithfulness. Yes. Strip off every unnecessary weight of sin which so easily and cleverly entangles us. Mm -hmm. It's going to entangle you. Amen. If you let it. Yes. Let us run with endurance, determination, the race that is set before us. Uh -huh. Press on, child of God. Looking away from all that will distract us. Uh -huh. And there's much that wants to distract you. Focusing yes. our eyes on Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of faith. Yes. The first incentive for our belief and the one who brings our faith to maturity. Uh -huh. Who for the joy of accomplishing the goal set before him endured the cross. Disregarding the shame and sat down at the right hand of the Amen. throne of God. Revealing his deity, uh -huh. his authority, interceding for us and completing of his work. Man, yeah. that's an amplified man. Jesus <laughs> knew what was waiting for him. But you know what? It says he endured the cross, endured the cross. disregarding the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. And it reveals his deity, his authority, interceding for us, yes. and the completion of his work. Amen. Yes. That's what he wants us to do. The Bible says we can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, we need your strength to go out each and every day yes. and fulfill what you've called us to do. Amen. And he didn't call you to do junk. He called you to do something important. Something, it's yes. important for him. He says, I called you, I've anointed you, I've equipped you, and you can do all things through me. But you gotta stay focused on him because there's many distractions that are gonna try to pull you away. Amen? So, <laughs> mm. let's remember this. Keep going. Mm. Hallelujah, are you learning something? Yes. Woo. Yes. Man, this is blessing me. I don't know about you, but, uh, I'm going to let it bless me. Amen. <laughs> Hebrews 13, 5 and 6. We mostly, we're familiar with uh, uh, 13, 5, which it says that he never leaves you nor forsakes you. If you feel lonely, if you feel like God's not around, he's not the problem. Yeah. We need to communicate. We need to spend time with him. Amen. And make time for him. Don't be like uh, Martha, you know, Mary and Martha. Mm -hmm. Jesus walks in. Mary says the master's here and Will goes and serves, you know, and, and ministers to him. And Martha says, Man, I've got I'm too busy. I can't I don't have time right now. <laughs> Let's not get too busy that we don't make time for the master. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Let's make time for him. Amen. Amen. King James says, Let your conversation be without covetousness and yes. be content with such things as ye have. Uh -huh. For he has said, he has said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. That's it. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my 
helper, and I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Amen. The uh, Amplified says, let your character, your moral essence, your inner nature yeah. be free from the love of money. Shun greed, be financially ethical. Yes. Says, being content with what you have. Uh -huh. For he has said that I will never under any circumstances desert you, nor give you up, nor leave you without support. Nor will I in any degree leave you helpless. Yeah. Nor will I forsake or let down or relax my hold on you. Mm -hmm. Man, surely not. Cool. So we could take comfort and are encouraged and confidently say, the Lord yeah. is my helper in times of need. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. It's so important that we get the word in us. Feed on the word, feed on the word. You know, with, with three part being, <laughs> we're a spirit, we have a soul, mind, will, emotions, and we live in the body. Our spirit, we feed the word of God. Mm -hmm. Our soul, we got to renew our minds with the word of God and our, 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 our bodies. We have to crucify the flesh because the flesh just wants to be, take it easy mm -hmm. and do nothing mm -hmm. or side with yeah. the wrong thing. Amen. So let's remember that. This is all the more reason to seek only the true and living God. The one who is above all. And that's what we've been talking about. Jesus above all. Amen. I don't care what problem it is. I don't care what's going on. I don't care what the CNN says or what the world says. Jesus is above all. So we got to be on Jesus winning team. Amen. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. And Second Timothy 1 and 6 says this. It says, therefore, I remind you, stir up the gift of God in you. God has put things in you. Amen. So stir it up. Amen. Like high school season, a football season just started. You know what? They had a pep rally. You go to pep rally and you went, man, you're going to beat everybody up. <laughs> they built you up. You know, we got to bear ourselves up just like David. You know, build yourself up in, in Christ every day because the world's going to try to beat you down. Yes. Man, and you get a, some pep rallies with Jesus every day before you, when you get up. You're going into the world. You're going to win. Why? Because the greater one is with me. Yes. Amen. So I'm going to stir myself up. Yeah. He's telling us what to do. Uh -huh. Don't wait for somebody else to do it for you. Yeah. Amen. Hey, when I was getting ready to go out into the world and party, <laughs> nobody had to help me. Huh. I know what to do. <laughs> Amen. So let's get excited. You know what? Each and every day when we get up, seek him first. Mm -hmm. And not only that, on Wednesdays, for Bible studies, <laughs> or on Sundays for Sunday service, Sunday worship, come, assemble ourselves together, amen, Woo. to encourage one another, amen, to be there for one another, say, hey, you know what, I had a rough week, but man, I'm glad I'm here, mm -hmm. amen, praise God, you can make it, brother, easy to read version says this, to uh, 2 Timothy 1 and 6, easy to read version says, this is why I I want you to remember the gift of God you, you have. It says, excuse me. This is why I want you to remember the gift God gave you. Who gave you this gift? God gave you this gift. When? When I laid my hands on you. God gave you this gift. When I laid my hands on you, now I want you to use that gift and let it grow more and more. Stir it up. Amen. Like a flame, like a small flame. Grow, uh, grows into a fire. Be a fire for Jesus. You don't have to be that little flame, you know. The more you feed on it, the more it's going to grow. Mm -hmm. And that little flame is going to become a fire. Be on fire for God. Amen. I used to be on fire for the world. I used to be on fire for all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. Now I'm on fire for God. Amen. Yeah. You could do the same thing. Mm -hmm. Well, what can I do? <laughs> Get on fire for God. Yeah. Seek Him first. Yes. Seek Him first. Change priorities. Amen. Yes. Last week we talked about you got to dethrone yourself. <laughs> you got to get off the throne oh. and put Jesus on the throne. Amen. Amen. And seek him first. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, Psalms 35 and 23 says, again, stir yourself. Stir up yourself. And it's telling us what to do. You got to stir yourself up. The world's not going to do it. 
The world, all the world's gonna tell you, say, hey, let's go party. Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's go get drunk. Hey, let's go get high. You know? Yeah. Well, you know what? If you want to get the best high you ever had, get high on the most high. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best high you can have. Jesus, amen. Mm -hmm. Get high with Jesus, praise God. <laughs> he cares and comforts uh, uh comforts every believer in him. Amen. So praise mm -hmm. God. The King James says, Stir yourself, stir up thyself, and uh -huh. awaken unto my judgment, even unto my cause, my God and my Lord. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Are we learning anything? Keep yes. going. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Praise God is good. God, the word of God is good. Again, Psalms uh, 20, uh, Psalm 55 and 22, and King James says, Cast your cares or cast your burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. Uh -huh. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Yes, Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah, man. Uh -huh. If we don't get anything else today, <laughs> huh. know to cast all your cares on him. Yes, we yes. all have cares, but we got to supposed to to cast them on him yes. amen so whatever cares you have don't carry them anymore That's it. give it to him he went to the cross he took it all to the cross so you don't have to have it anymore give it all to him and start living for him and you know, when you do that you know what things don't change yeah. you'll be thrown in yourself uh -huh. and you're putting him on the throne That's it. amen and if you did something wrong you know what he says he says i forgive you mm -hmm. and i'll forget it but you need to do the same thing. Yeah. Because the enemy is going to come in and he's going to try to remind you. And friends are going to remind you and say, you know what? <laughs> he didn't forgive you. But the word God says he did. So I'm believing that. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Keep going. There we go. We'll close with this. <clears throat> Romans 8.37 says, We are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Amen. Easy to read version says this, but in these, the cares, the troubles, the problems, all situations, uh -huh. we have complete victory. We are more than conquerors through God who loved us, who, who showed his love for us. Yeah. Amen. Woo, man, praise God. Mm -hmm. The God word uh, translation says, the one who loves us gives us mm -hmm. an overpowering victory in all difficulties, uh -huh. all the cares, all the troubles, all the problems, all the fears in anything coming against you first john uh keep going first john 5 4 uh 4 and 4 says you are uh, from god little children and have overcome them the cares the troubles the problems because greater is he who is in you than he that is in the world Amen. says you are god little children and have overcome them yes. what is the them uh, whatever is facing you yeah whatever is facing you. whatever you're facing the care yeah. the problems the troubles Amen. The lacks, the fears, because he who is in you is greater than the one that's in the world. He yes. says he came that you might have peace yes. and have it more abundantly. Amen. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. God is above all. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that he's above all and bigger than any care, any problem or troubles that you have. So let go and let God. Amen. Yes. Sounds easy and it can be if you make it easy. Yes. Amen. Give it to him and leave it there. Yes. So in closing, thank you, yes. Lord, thank you, that Lord. Jesus, that you're above all. Mm -hmm. And we can be strong in him. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Thank praise you, God. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Did you get something? Yes. Thank you, yes. Lord, for your precious word. Yes. Hallelujah. We take it and we receive it and we apply it to our lives. Some of you are watching, some of you listening. You never accepted Christ. This is your time. Amen. This is your hour. Amen. This is not by accident. <laughs> it's time. All you need to do is you say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? He will. And you start living for him. Amen. And you start going to a Bible-based church where they learn the word of God. Where you can be encouraged. Yes. Amen. Yeah. Get you a Bible. Open it up and read it. Amen. <laughs> that, the Bible's not going to open itself up and no. the words are not going to jump on you until you start reading them That's and get them in you so they can start coming out of you they may yeah. speaking them you know Woo, hallelujah thank you Lord sickness if you have if you stand on the words like pastor did 
you have sickness in your body, you know, it's not for you. That's it. It was put on Jesus at the cross. Yeah. It's by Jesus Christ I'm healed. So body, receive your healing. I'm not receiving any malfunctions in my body. Every organ, every tissue, every muscle, everything yeah. about me functioning to the perfection Amen. that Christ made it to be. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. And it's time to give. You can go to our website. It should be on your screen there. It says NBCBigBen.com. Hit that donate button. And uh, for mail, NBC, uh, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. And now for Cash App, New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben. Amen. Praise God. God loves you and we love you. Remember that you can do all things through Christ that strengthens you. Amen. And to cast all cares on Him because He cares for you. Amen. Amen. God bless.